What's up guys? I'm adding a little bit of spice to my Madden 16 wish list. And in this series, I'm going to be going through all 32 teams, telling you the legends that I would like to see from each of these teams. Now, I'm gonna give you my own personal top five, and I'll tell you just how my top five is structured. Yeah, no, let's not really call it an exact top five. Let's just call it a five of notable players. Now, in my list of legends I would like to see in Madden 16, there's some rules to this. Pretty simple rules, pretty basic. One is I'm not going to be including quarterbacks unless it is a very, very notable quarterback or a quarterback that could probably sell when it comes to mutt. By example, what I mean by that is even though Sammy Ball is somebody that put up great stats and had great accomplishments, I wouldn't include him in the list like this because I just don't personally think that he's all that relatable to today's audience. Now, would I put in someone like Joe Namath? Absolutely. He's a name that's still extremely relevant uh, in today's eyes. So that's how I feel about quarterbacks. Next, I'm not going to be including players that are currently in the NFL. I'm also not going to be including players that are currently in the game. And I'm also not going to be including kickers and punters. Yeah, I can figure that out yourselves if you want to holla at EA about that. Now, this video, as you can see, we are doing the New England Patriots. And starting off this list, I'm going to start this one with Ben Coates. Ben Coates was a very formidable tight end in the NFL. For a stretch of about five years, he had pretty decent numbers. For the most part, he was a red zone threat and a pretty good target in the red zone. One of the things that he was most known for was his good run blocking skills. That's something that I think that Mutt can use from their tight ends. In Ultimate Team, the tight ends aren't really all that good in blocking. So this guy is a big target and he's also really good at blocking. So why not? Up next, we're gonna go with Mike Vrabel. Now, his stats might not jump off the page at you. His size might not jump off the page at you. But Mike Vrabel was a part of that very, very fearsome linebacking core that the, that the Patriots had. And he was very, very important to that scheme. He also was a decent threat in the red zone whenever the Patriots decided to put him in on offense and throw him some, some passes as a tight end. He was a pretty versatile player. A lot of NFL guys are versatile players, such as J.J. Watt. Not comparing Mike Vrabel to J.J. Watt, but you'll be surprised at what some of these defenders can do if you throw them the ball on offense, i.e. Julius Peppers. But moreover, to Mike Vrabel, the guy was a very consistent player, played 16 games in about six straight seasons. I mean, you can't wish for more than that. This guy was a constant professional and he was a very, very big staple in a part of New England's team. Up next, we have Willie McGinnis. Now, his stats may not jump off the page at you, but he was one of those guys in New England that was a staple of that linebacking core defense. Pretty hard to get around the guy. He was always in the right place at the right time. He was one of those guys that was pretty clutch for the Patriots defense. Which brings me to Teddy Bruschi. Teddy Bruschi, also a staple of that crazy New England Patriots defensive front seven. Teddy Bruschi played all of his years in New England, had a crap ton of key plays, was a staple of that New England linebacking core. Uh, he was always in the right place at the right time. He wasn't the biggest guy in the world, but he was definitely a leader of that defense. And he's somebody I would like to see in mud. I don't necessarily welcome him because I'm I'm a Colts fan and I hate Patriots, but that's one of those guys that gets my respect. I would like to see Teddy Bruschi as one of the legends. Which brings me to another guy that I absolutely hate, Ty Law. And whatever interceptions this guy had in his career, he had him against Peyton Manning. This guy was an interception machine. He was a good tackler, had decent size. Ty Law was just... A turnover waiting to happen. Now he wasn't the fastest guy in the world, 
but just like all other Patriots, this guy just was always in the right place at the right time. Holding down his side of the field, you just wasn't going to be throwing over there. Uh, two years in the, well, two years in his career, he had over 20 passes defended with a career high of 32 passes defended. He also had a career high of 10 interceptions. I mean, damn, that's crazy, right? 10 interceptions? So there you have it. That's my list of New England Patriots that I would like to see uh, in Ultimate Team. Now, there's other guys I could add easily, such as Mike Hayes, but sometimes you gotta put players on other teams because the Patriots, they had like a laundry list of players that I could have put on here. So I decided to put guys like Rodney Harrison somewhere else and Lawyer Malloy somewhere else and Mike Hayes somewhere else. You know, these guys, they could be in the game. I'll get to them once I get to the other teams. But that's all I have for these Patriots right here. If you guys want to list me Patriots that you would feel will want to be in the game, drop them down in the comment section below. Let me see your top five because that's mine. Yeah. Fucking Patriots. That was like pulling teeth. I hate them.